Alright, this is something I've been wanting to try to do for a while, and now I finally have the means to attempt it. So, without further ado, let's get this started. That oh so lovely zoom in of Cortex's uvula. Situation. If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. I wonder who he means. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. That was pretty demanding. I don't appreciate that tone. Also, where am I going to find a battery in the middle of the jungle? Yeah, so anyway, Crash Bandicoot's a pretty sweet series from that I enjoyed playing when I was a kid. So I figured it'd be a nice, chill thing to try to get started with this whole Let's Play deal. Seems like a decent enough first entry. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot... Well, if it isn't Lex well, Luthor. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Maybe. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. I don't know. If my nemesis wanted my help, I would demand a written apology first. Followed by a cake. Alright, Crash Bandicoot 2 is one of the easiest ones to 100%, so I'm gonna attempt to do that in this playthrough. One of the hidden gems is uh, the blue gem in this level, which... Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to break any boxes to get it. Which is simple enough. As long as I'm not a dummy and absentmindedly just spin a box. Or do that. That was silly. Whatever, I'll just break the boxes first. I don't I don't even know how I managed to God, that's so dumb. Ugh. Yes, this is clearly the start of something beautiful. <coughs> ah! I'm not used to doing this to level 4. I should probably be careful about how I use those. Uh, checkpoints. Oh, I thought I was about to die. Like that. This is so dumb. I am possibly the worst at this game ever. I just got hit by an armadillo. 
Oh my god. I think my life is in shambles right now. What is this nonsense? I've just... I, I've died twice. Got hit by an arm armadillo. I never get hit by... I haven't been hit by an armadillo since I was like five. What? This is so stupid. Divide these episodes up by 20 minutes, or 15, is how I figured, and now all of whatever the first episode is gonna be is going to be this stupid level one. Good God. This might be the worst attempt at playing Crash Bandicoot ever. Of all time. Ugh. It'd be really hilarious if I died right here, before the checkpoint. Nope. That did not happen, which is good. Alright, now things are going my way. God! I died twice on the first level. Ugh! Ow. And I just got hit by another- Ugh! Did the bonus. That's a day, Armadillo. Although clearly, it, whatever state I'm in, you are a threat. Oh, I was right there. Oh my... okay. That'll do. Belly flop that turtle. Oh, I didn't bounce out. There we go. Good God, my timer says about 8-ish, 9-ish minutes, and I only just got the first crystal and gem of the first level. I think I've brought shame upon my family. Well oh, that was not well done, you patronizing schmo. You said your battery was dead, you lying- Oh. I wouldn't be here if you didn't send me to get a battery that you didn't need, apparently. Coco, I hate you. Alright, let's not break the boxes this time, like a moron. I think what that is attributed to is my wonky d-pad for my uh, controller that I'm using. I'm just using like a Logitech controller and 
that was weird. Why did my screen time out? I'm doing... Oh, I'm gonna have to adjust that later. Oh, God. I forgot just how earwormy the soundtrack for this game is. I'm gonna be humming this f until I go to bed tonight. Down. Believe it or not, I'm pretty sure I used to- actually, I don't think it'd be that hard to believe given the display that I gave during the initial run of this level, but I used to die to these stupid mole things as a kid. Them and their stupid Kano eyes. Here we go. Wait, I could've just spun out of that one. Ugh. you want now? Oh, you're not Cortex. No! You were helping Cortex gather crystals. Yes, you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash. <laughs> you know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my ally. You're assuming a lot. So the thing about him using his forces to gather me, or gath, yeah, gather me from stopping crystals, yeah, stop me from gathering crystals, is that the gems are in these warp rooms too, so I couldn't collect all of the gems if he, if his, I was just standing on that TNT box for a second. Ah. Oh. Here's to hoping that this level goes better than the first one. Oh, well. That sucked. Oh, whatever. Alright, there's a way to get that, like, early, but I've never been able to pull it off. Ah, well that's, that was weird. normally a life hidden inside of that. Uh, that nitro switch used to be a day ruiner when I was a kid. Uh, 
Ugh, I thought I was gonna die. Alright, that went way smoother than the other level. Yeah. So silly. Cortex isn't gonna bother us this time. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so the hidden gem here is, uh, just get, ah, yeah, just beat the timer, and you should be fine. Ouch. Now, beating the timer could actually be hard in some cases, but if you go into this bonus round here, and jump. Ta-da! More time. Ah! Oh, I hate not having a mask right here. It's the worst. Ooh! Ah! Leave me alone! I don't know if I made it a point to get all the boxes before the first checkpoint, so I uh, just went back to the warp room. Alright, what do you want now, Cortex? Three crystals? Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Alright, whatever. Now we go to collect the boxes. When I first tried recording this, this level was kind of life-ruining. It would be laggy and stupid, and I would be making dumb mistakes like, uh, getting killed in the opening 30 seconds. Although dying in the first level isn't any better. So... Ah! Ha! Ah, avoided it. Suck at piranha plants. Crash that ball. Ah! What just happened? I think the scenery tried to kill me. I managed to avoid that narrowly. Ugh. done for. Well, not done for, because I had two masks, but you get the point. Alright, that pad won't show up if you don't have the blue gem, as being a blue gem platform would imply. I don't know why that keeps happening. It's 
sorry if there was like a click or something right there. I just had to wake up my computer. Oh, what? How did I? Ugh. And the stupidity streak continues. Do I have to do that again? No, I don't. Oh, I thought I was about to die again. Ugh. Now I don't have a mask. Which is always unfortunate. But what? Get. Duh. God. This game is ruining my life. I don't know how that just happened. Alrighty. Crash, I just want you to jump on the crate. Not even gonna bother. There we go. Ugh. Nitros and their stupid bouncing always make me nervous. Whatever, I'll get those on the way back. Makes me especially nervous in later games like Twin Sanity, where Nitro is automatic death even with a mask. But, yeah, just the bouncing is the worst. Dear God. Crash? Crash. I, just, I need you to cooperate with me, man.